for everything. Street lights. I'm being taxed for street lights, and I'll be damned. I don't have a street light on my block. I don't have not one on my block. And if it wasn't for myself and my neighbors with their porch lights being on, we wouldn't see anything. Uh, we're paying for water, and, and it seems to me, now somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it, we were told that the water was going to go up 15%. That was posted within the, the uh, water department downstairs all over the place for a long period of time. And it seems to me like my water bill is tripled. Uh, Flint is being taken over by this master plan. And I think people that actually, I mean, we need a plan, but why in the world we got to call it master's plan? You know, I, I don't get that. <laughs> Another thing, and, and I'm not being facetious, really, I'm not being facetious, but when you put it together like this, this is what it seems to me and several other people. Okay, uh, the master plan is planning for good things to happen in Flint, but I'll be doggone, I'm, I'm still yet to see that good thing happen on the north end. It seems to me like we're paying for the master's plan, I mean, excuse me, master plan, um, on the backs of the residents that stay in Flint because we're not seeing the benefits of it. We may see a little. I mean, just like crumbs. And who was that that was asking for crumbs? Wasn't it Lazarus? Okay. Now, another thing. Um, I'm saying that to say this. We're all being had. We're all pawns of what is going on. Now, Flint was losing money. Now Flint has money pouring in from everybody that want to donate money, everybody that's writing grants and all this kind of thing. But where is that money going? It is not coming on the North End to help the residents of the North End. It is not coming there. What's coming there is what's not being told. We are going to be bamboozled, hoodwinked, and just plain lied to. Every one of us in this room is being pawns. We're being used. We are being used. What's going to happen on the north end? The land, it, there, there, there's a plan, I believe, that's going on to take over all the land of the north end. We will not be included in that plan. You hear what I'm saying? And they want even the dirt in your flower pots. So get ready to empty, empty it out. I am really getting frustrated to the point to where now we're being talked about, talked to about this Karagandi water pipeline. What the heck is that? I mean, I know what it is. I'm looking at it all. I don't see anything but a takeover of the property. Period. A takeover of the property. I got a question that I want to ask every council member here. Have you talked to your constituents and held a ward hall meeting to ask the constituents who they wanted to have as president? I mean, because, I mean, I didn't elect Mr. Nolan to come in and speak his mind and to, to get his agenda across. I elected whomever I voted for to get the public, to get the constituents voice across. And you, I know everybody that's sitting here. Would you please sum up your five minutes? You've exceeded your five minutes. Would you please sum up? Make it plain, sir. Everybody here has constituents that you are supposed to be their voice. And it's really strange, Mr. Kincaid, and, and, and uh, that you are giving me the five minute. Ma'am, I'm, I'm just giving you. Uh, I know Ms. what you're doing, Ms. my, my man. I know she what you're told doing. Me your five I know what you're doing. I wasn't born yesterday with up. a diaper on, okay? okay? I didn't fall out the sky Thank as you. a child. Thank you. Okay? But I see what's going on. Y'all better wake up. All of you, wake up. 
get together with the court, with the, with, with the uh, ward member that's sitting next to you and across from you and coordinate your efforts and quit fighting one another. Mr. Mage. Mr. President, I'm determined not to do a four-year term or a one-year term where the people who elected me, Ms. Mohammed, don't see the fruits of my work. My ward is the far north end. I knocked door to door and told people my number one issue was jobs and economics as it relates to my ward. I've got to be responsible to my ward as I look at people hurting in the fourth ward, black, white, young, and old. But you referred to the North End, so I'll use your communications to do one or two things. Remember, Mr. Ms. Mohammed, that my cell number is 922-4860. You can call the city council office now and ask for Councilman Mays, and hopefully I'll get messages and return them. But on a tidbit of what you said, because I've been at that microphone, and I refuse to let anybody from you to the union man, I'm going to talk with you, you watch, and even the speaker over there. But I would like to make a referral through you, Mr. President, to Howard Croft, I want to know in the upcoming year, this is an inquiry. We can inquire, but we can't direct. And I'm new and I need to know, how much money does our Department of Economic Development have coming up in the next six months to a year? I want both of them. The amount of money, whether it's block grant money or whether it's grants that we're trying to put together, but I want to know money-wise, what is the plans through the Department of Economic Development? Where is the money planned to go? What ward? What part of town? And what ability do we have as it relates to dollar amounts of money and plans for that money in the next six months to a year. Once I get those answers and see if the money has already been spent and allocated, or whether we have room for opportunity on the North End, Ms. Mohammed, I'm gonna do my part in order to pull some economic development money from downtown to the North End because downtown has had a fair share and people ain't really made it happen. So you got Councilman Mays, you got others, and it's not going to be as controversial as people think. I just ain't heard leaders even say to Dan Kildee in Washington, give us 20 million for jobs. We got 20 million for blight and people jumping up in joy, jumping for joy. We got five million for police in the form of a millage, two million from the state for, for the jail. And so that referral, Mr. Kincaid, Council President Kincaid, I, I wish to make. That would go to Howard Croft. And then the second referral would be a request or a letter. And if I have to come back and put it in the form of a motion, but We'll figure out how to do it. I want a communication sent to Dan Kildee. And I want Congressman Kildee to know that the city of Flint needs money for jobs. And I want to put a figure on it of about 20 to 30 million because that's how much we got for blight. So without any objections, I want that referral made, but it might not be a referral. It might have to go in the form of a letter written to our Congressman Dale Kildee that it's time now that we quit letting elected leadership go by knowing that the number one issue is jobs and nobody is sending a letter and sounding out for 20 to 30 million 20 to 30 million for jobs. So let me go on record. And since you the president and y'all think y'all know more than me, 
then I'm surely you can tell me, as soon as I finish, if it's proper, which way should we go with that? A letter, do you want me to put in form of motion to kill D, or a referral? I wait to hear your answer. Well, first you, Mr. Scott Kincaid. Well, before, before I became a um, council person, I took the initiative to write a letter to Dan Kildee, and I addressed it to uh, Stabenow and John Connors. And it was due to the murders that we're having in our community on a drastic level. And I know for a fact that's what's crippling our city was jobs. In the 80s and 70s, we didn't suffer the way that we suffered through crime because people was working, people was making money. Our city didn't become the way it is now until we started becoming poor. And people start roaming the streets, and they was lacking the ability to get into the workforce. So I wrote a letter to Dan Kildee, and I haven't got an answer yet, but it's on M Live. If you look on M Live, you will see the letter that I addressed. And I also spoke about our schools being closed down through K through 12, because most of the urban schools in our community are closed, and it's putting our children in the street, and they be going to, eventually going to become a candidate for Michigan Department of Corrections because they're going to lose the passion for education because it's just too far for them to go. So I took that initiative and did that myself. Um, I think it's a good argument and I think it's a good issue. So I think that, that's, that's what we need. We need jobs. So. And Mr. President, if I may, I'd like to put that in the form of a motion. I would move that this city council through you, the council president, that we draft up a letter to Congressman Kildee and that we ask him to come and meet with us and or give us all information regarding money that we'll call for economic development for jobs. Now I can tell you right now that we have a specific business plan that if we have to attach it with that money we can. We're not just asking for money we know the type of um, businesses and things that we can put together in our neighborhood if they need that attached to a specific project. So let's see if we can get some dialogue going with it. I so move that we vote to have the intention of drafting up a letter and my motion would give you the leeway to draft it up yourself or with the secretaries or with the clerk. And then if it takes a week, it ain't been done in years. So if we have to have a special meeting and come back and review your letter or you want to poll us with it, but I just want this thing moving as a result of this motion that we're going to ask him to come to us and dialogue in person or we're going to send him a letter and we're going to get back, the intent is to get back feedback from our congressman on the possibility of that type of money so we can get started to create jobs in our neighborhood. So I so move. I support it. It's been moved and supported. I I was just getting ready to recognize your motion on the Community Development Block Grants to ask for that information to be provided to you, Mr. Mays. I didn't so I'm going to I'm going to if I may recognize yeah, I, your if your I request. may, Mr. President, don't confuse it. The economic no. development stuff was a referral. I'm I'm recognizing that referral. Oh, okay, that's All what right. I was going to tell you. You asked for two things, so I'm, I was doing the first one first, which that was the first one you've asked for. 